So you've got the FCS mods. You've watched my videos on how to automate things in the FCS mods, things like that, how to use certain things. But, you know, once you get them, you're like, how do I even get to this stuff? You don't know what to do. And so that's what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to show you the actual basics, not of how to use them, but how to actually unlock the stuff in the FCS mods. And so, of course, that means there's going to be spoilers. I have a brand new game just started right here at the very beginning. I don't have anything going on. But, you know, when I look around, I see a beacon. That's right. I already have a beacon showing for the Altera Hub Fabrication Facility. And you see it's 320 meters down. So if you're starting a brand new game, you don't have this showing. Something has not loaded correctly with the mods. Make sure you've updated your QMod Manager, your SML Helper, and download the latest version of the mods. And maybe take out some other mods just in case you might have a conflict. Now, while you might be saying, I want to go ahead and get right over there and get this taken care of as fast as possible. I will have these right away. It's 320 meters down. You're not going to be able to get down there right at the beginning. So go ahead and do your normal gameplay. Get some supplies going. Get a small operational base. Whatever you want to do. Deal with the Aurora. Do whatever. But you need to at least get some basic stuff put together. And what you really need for this depends on how you want to approach the whole process of unlocking everything at this facility wreck. So the Altera Hub Fabrication Facility marker leads you here to this wreck in the crag fields. And it says 320 meters down, but that is for a certain beacon spot in it. Uh, you actually are going to be a little bit higher than that. But of course, with it being that deep, you're going to need a couple of things. So of course, you need two basic things for this. You need a way to get oxygen, to replenish the oxygen in your tank and in your own lungs. And you also need tanks for, you know, having extra oxygen while you go inside because you are going inside this wreck like you do with many others. You're going to be doing things like repairing and going through air ducts. You need oxygen. So I recommend having at least the high capacity tank equipped and at least one spare. So one way to make sure you have a place to refill your oxygen for your tanks is of course the sea glide. Now the sea glide won't reach all the way down on its own, but fortunately while you're working on things getting set up, you can go and fix the Aurora and in the sea moth bay in the Aurora, you will find the hull upgrade mark one, the depth upgrade mark one, which will get you up to 300 meters. So you see, I can actually park right outside and be done with it. Now, a second option is the Cyclops because it has a default depth of 500 meters. It gives you access to oxygen and it gives you plenty of storage if that's what you need. However, I think for most players, they're probably not gonna wanna put in the time to unlock the Cyclops because it does take access to three different modules. Each module has to have three scans to unlock. So you got a total of nine scans to get across different biomes and then it takes a good number of materials so i think most players are going to find the sea moth more likely the better choice there just to be complete about this i would say there's a third option for how you can replenish your oxygen while you were down here doing your work which is a base now it's too deep really for solar power to work well unless you want to use power transmitters i think that's a waste of time honestly just go to the Degazi base in the Jelly Shroom Caves. You can scan and unlock the multi-purpose room there. And then right outside the Jelly Shroom Caves, the grassy plateaus, you can scan and unlock the bioreactor. There should be more than enough fragments out there. Come down here, build a simple multi-purpose room with a hatch and a bioreactor in the middle. Come inside and put your Reginald in there. And that will give you enough power to complete all the work here that you need to do. So now, what you'll need to complete the work here, you're obviously going to want the rebreather so your oxygen will last longer. You again want at least one, if not two, spare tanks. And I say go for the high capacity tank. Make sure you're also swapping the tanks out when you are in your sea moth, cyclops, base, whatever. So they are all filled with oxygen. You will also need the fins which will help you go a little faster and the repair tool because you're going to be making repairs now i like to have a spare battery or two because i'm using the sea glide to get around and to see inside you could use the flashlight but the sea glide also gives you that mobility boost so i recommend it primarily instead of the flashlight 
And just in case I run out of power on the repair tool, I have a spare battery for that. You also will need five total power cells because these are going to provide power for the rec facility itself, which is how you get everything to function afterwards. On the lower side of the rec, the part towards the void area, there is this little section. You're going to see we have an entry point through an air duct. Uh, you know, air right here, whatever you call it. It's a duct work thing. And we go in and we drop into this area where everything's red and oh, the hub is red. Okay, so door is locked. What you want to do is come around here. And as you see, we already have some repairs to do. So you got to get in here, but don't get too close so you don't get electrocuted. Once that's done, we open the door and now we're in this area. Locked door, so we can't do that. And that is fine. So we're going to go on down this way. And come on in here. Everything is red. That is, oh no, things are bad. We see sparking. So what you're going to want to do is look around a bit. But basically, you're going to come back here. You see how this one is sparking. You're going to have several of these you have to fit. So in this first room, we got this one here. Also, before you go any further, where is it? Grab this. FCS data box unlocks the drone terminal. It's right here in this chair in this first area. Now, into here we go. All right, we're gonna come in here, and now we have this area, which if you target the right spot, you have where you put in your power cells. And no, you cannot take these power cells back out afterwards, so make sure you don't need them for something else. And then we gotta come over here, reactivate, and now this door opens and you know we got power the red is gone everything looks better again i'm swapping out oxygen tank so i have o2 but i also want to make sure i don't need anything here so you know look around but uh you're gonna go under the cargo crates there they're kind of stacked nicely and right here another data box for the depot so now i'm gonna go get some oxygen again by going back out the way i came in some fresh oxygen and again make sure you are swapping your tanks out so that they can both replenish or all of them replenish if you use more than two so now going back in to here uh that's where we were the staff lounge instead i'm going to continue down this way and we got a locked door needs a pin number you see we've already seen another one that was locked so coming over here past the pipes we're going to go through another set of duct work uh so the problem here is that the angle of it makes it hard to keep your uh aim right but it's gonna drop you into this little office that was previously closed right here where we came through this was locked that duct is going to take you into here and this is where you see we have some screens uh the network is offline but you want to grab from each one see we have the fabricator room codes and then over here on this one we also have the antenna codes and then here we have the antenna room codes so i suggest grabbing your phone taking a screenshot something like that that you can use in order to have the codes readily available to you when you go to these keypads because i was so close to the way i got in i went ahead and got more oxygen so i have a full set so now we're going to go back down here to the fabricator room so first look at this keypad what do you notice there's no zero so that first set of codes for the different sectors look through those codes you'll see there is one code that does not have any zeros in it and boom we are in door is unlocked right there we have another data box for the ore consumer very critical thing in these mods and now we have another locked door obviously you might want to try the same code again except it doesn't work so now we gotta pull up another code so out of the other two code sets you get this is the room for we would assume the antenna because you can see it right through the window so it's the antenna room code and go ahead and pop that one in now this is where obviously you see there are some more electrical sparks happening right here so we got that one and we got these here again depending on the uh how bad your battery state is for the repair tool when you come in you should be okay to repair all these without needing a spare battery but i like to have a spare battery or two 
just in case. There we go. All those are repaired. So once again, we've got another code to enter in and it also shows the electrical boxes. So five of five, there's four in here and the one I showed you in that first room where we found the first data box. So for this one, you want to use one of the codes on the antenna codes page. I'm not going to tell you which one, but you have to use one of those codes and it may not be exactly the same sector that we used before. So that's the only hint I'm going to give you. I don't want to make it too much of a spoiler. But once you get that code put in, it's going to automatically pull up your PDA, the Altera Hub PDA. And at that point, you're pretty much done. Go back outside, uh, hopefully with still enough oxygen to make it outside. And once you are back into safety, feel free to then go ahead and hit F2 to open up your Altera Hub PDA from FC Studios. And once you create your account, you have your temporary bank card so you can start doing stuff. You have access to start buying things depending on which of the mods you use. I encourage you to use all of them so you get the complete experience. And that's it. So if you liked the video, if it helped you out, hit that like button. It helps me out. And of course, if you have any issues with this, as far as from a technical side, you can ask in a comment below, but the best option is to join in on the FCS Discord and post your problems there.